Hello everyone, this is Dr. Taros, uh, Astronomers, International Eminent Truth Seekers Tarot Card Broadcast. Today I'm doing Virgo's reading. I already got your uh, uh, astrology cards laid out, so now I'm about to do the, the shuffle for it. So what message do I have for Virgo? Message for the North Node for Virgo. Message for the moon for Virgo. Somebody uh, with this north node is talking about sacrifice. It is talking about your work hours. All right. Somebody is not happy. Oh, I got it. I got to say about I'm I'm doing this because of the work shift that they have to do, and it feels like a sacrifice them not or, or being there with their children for a certain amount of hours because their children going to school during the daytime but they got to work at night but that means that you need to put in a resume for the date for a daytime job that it, if, if it's if it's about the pay then you need to find a daytime job that it, for uh, with that kind of salary, all right? Because if you need to be there with your children during the nighttime, then you need to be there with them during the night, all right? The room card. Because people are not with their family as much as it seems, all right? Because the work hours. And then there's school hours. Moon card. Why is that moon card there? And then the fourth house. All right. The moon card. Uh, now, with the north node, they're talking about sacrifice. It's also, there's something that you're going to be doing, all right? That's destined. It's about your employment, all right? But don't neglect or sacrifice your family for a, 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 a physical employment job, all right? Um for some of you uh, for some of you you might need to uh, be an independent contractor all right uh, like uh, whatever county or state that you stay in now this is something different this is like this is something that you can start working on all right um, if it's something that you're interested in okay uh, there are, are bids for certain contracts, all right? And, but you have to have your own business, all right? You have to decide what kind of business it is. So, for example, uh, if it's about distribution, all right, there are contracts to distribute uh, different kinds of products, all right? But you also have to have cash, all right? Because if you get the bid, you have to have the cash until they pay you. All right. So it's, it, it, I'm just giving y'all some uh, a, a different example of if you want to be uh, self-employed. All right. Now with the moon card, it's talking about your feelings. It's the fourth staffs. All right. You know, you're feeling some type of way about your uh, physical res re residence regarding your family or your lover or your spouse. But they're also feeling some type of way. All right. So they might not say, oh, I feel neglected because they know that you're working and, and, and it's nothing that it's not that you're purposely neglecting them. All right. The other thing is a, a conjunction. I mean, this, this is not a conjunction. This is a, it's a complexity a message about that. Uh, the Prince of Staffs. Now this is somebody that this person might be somebody that you might not like. All right. But the thing about not liking a person, it is for you to learn why you don't like a person, all right? It's the experience of it. it might be, well, I don't, you don't like the person because it could be you don't like the way the person speaks to you or you don't like uh, the person's, the way they speak to somebody else, all right? Or the person could be disrespectful, all right? Then some people might not uh, like somebody that's very flirtatious, but their flirtation, the, them being flirtatious is just how they are. 
they don't even mean anything. They just say sweet nothings. And it doesn't mean anything to them. They have no... They're, they're not going to even uh, uh, try to go out with the person. All right? They just nat a natural flirt. The fourth house is talking about the four of pentacles. It's talking about you making sure that you learn how to be secure with your finances. All right? Uh, like, for example, if you're somebody that gets commission. All right. And I used to do this when I used to get commission. All right. Uh, uh, because of my work hours, I wanted to be there for my children. Not, but my children are grown. But I, I see this sacrifice part right here with this baby. All right. So that's, I, I saw something there. And so what I uh, uh, used to do was uh, because I, I used to have a situation where I could take my daughter with me. All right. So some, it is something uh, that I do understand that you have to understand that you're not a bad parent for working, all right? It's just that it, it, is, it is finding the right situation that would allow you to spend more or quality time with your, your family, all right? Now, Virgo. The Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. The Five of Pentacles is saying that you're dealing with a, a situation. For some of you, it's separation. And it's affecting your finances. All right? Because you don't have that additional income from that person. So, for example, if some of y'all were had a roommate and the roommate moved out. But your rent was based on having a roommate. Well, now you have to learn how to have a, a, a situation whereas your rent is based on your income, whether you have a roommate or not. All right? Because uh, the Eight of Cups is showing somebody has left or will be leaving. And the thing about it is what pe some people don't understand is that when a person leaves, they, was, they had left a long time ago. It just, they, they finally got up and left. All right? Do you understand what I'm saying? They had already been checked out mentally a long time ago or emotionally a long time ago. It's just that all oh, now is meant for them to be gone. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you all for listening and namaste. Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Taros, International Infinite Truth Seekers Tarot Card Broadcast. I want to tell y'all that I do have some appointment availability for some customized extended readings. What a customized extended reading is, is that you watch one of the videos, right? and it resonates with you, all right? And so you want an extended reading because of that reading. That's the customized reading because it's just gonna be about your situation. It's $9.99, all right? So I have some appointments available for that. If you're interested, thank you all for listening and namaste.